decide to serve less because it's like only, I'm not sure, 77 people, maybe not yet. But seven is a really important number that we are celebrating brothers and sisters ending Easter season this weekend. Holy Spirit sending by Jesus to each of us, peace to his church, because what we're celebrating with this um, today, Vigil, Mass, and uh, during the Pentecost Sunday, we celebrated also like officially establishing Jesus' church. Ten days after Jesus ascended to heaven, he sent the Holy Spirit to the apostles and to each of us. We have to be open, open our mind, our heart for the gifts of the Holy Spirit that we will be stronger as the members of Jesus' church. From the beginning of this Eucharist, just ask God for forgiveness and the third place for consolation of the soul and heart. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most greatest fault. Therefore, I ask the blessed God and virgin, all of you in the sins, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to the last in life. Amen.
Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. When the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together, and suddenly there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them tongues as of fire, which parted and came to rest on each of them, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit, and began to speak in different tongues as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim it. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven staying in Jerusalem. At this sound, they gathered in a large crowd, but they were confused because each one heard them speaking in his own language. They were astounded, and in amazement, they asked, Are not all these people who are speaking Galileans? Then how does each of us hear them in his native language? We are Parthenians, Medes, and Elamites. Inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea, and Cappadocia, Pontus, and Asia, Phrygia, and Pamphylia, Egypt, and the districts of Libya near Cyrene, as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans, and Arabs. Yet we hear them speaking in our own tongues of the mighty acts of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Into one body, 
neither Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons, and we were all given to drink of one spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to said this, he showed them his hands and his side. 
disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. Whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. So much to talk about the Pentecost the event of the Holy Spirit, so we can only touch the surface. But just who is this Holy Spirit that arrived at the Pentecost event, commemorating the giving of the law to Moses on Mount Sinai and the end of the grain harvest, where the first fruits were brought to the temple and offered to God? This is why the Jews were there and from all around the world in Jerusalem at the time. But they were, <clears throat> they, they were there to celebrate the Jewish feast, but yet we had a Christian feast at the same time for the first time. And today, that is still the only feast that both the Jews and Christians celebrate, Pentecost. So as you know, we hear in today in the readings about the Trinity, really, because the Father was there, Jesus was speaking, we have the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is the third person of that Trinity, distinct yet individual, yet separate from the Father and the Son, because they're made of the same substance. There's still one Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. But God, the Father, is not the Son and not the Holy Spirit. And Jesus is not the Father and is not the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is not the Father or the Son. They are all one God, standing alone, but yet at the same time are indivisible, all for one purpose, to work for the salvation of all human beings. The Holy Spirit animates all of creation. The Holy Spirit awakens faith. He comes unceasingly into the world. He enables communication with Christ. He grants gifts to all. He helps men grow in spiritual freedom. And he masters, the, he's the master and source of all prayer. He reveals God and he reveals the Trinity. He's the source of all holiness. He's known as the paraclete and the spirit of truth, and so much more. The Holy Spirit is the principal author of Holy Scripture. He first appeared in Holy Scripture in the second verse of the first chapter of Genesis. In other words, the very beginning. The Holy Spirit was the mighty wind that swept over the sea. And when you hear wind or breath anywhere in scriptures, they're talking about the Holy Spirit. There's very few exceptions to that. In the Old Testament, the Holy Spirit is mentioned 93 times. The first time the Spirit was given to an individual was in the books of that book of Exodus. God filled Bezel, Bezel L, Bezel and the end of the word, name means of God. So his name meant Bezal of God. He filled him with the Holy Spirit of understanding, wisdom, and workmanship that he could work with his hands for God. In the New Testament, the first time the Holy Spirit is mentioned is at the baptism of Jesus. In Matthew 3.16 reads, the Holy Spirit descended upon him like a dove and came upon him followed by a voice that came from the heavens saying, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. The Trinity in scripture is there again. It's revealed to us. 
After Jesus' baptism, the Holy Spirit is mentioned over a hundred times, starting with the Gospels, into Acts, as we heard in today's reading, and through the Epistles and into Revelations. In the Nicene Creed, the Holy Spirit is referred to as the Lord, the giver of life. We'll hear that today. This is realized in the sacrament of baptism. Being born without the presence of the Holy Spirit in us, we must receive the Holy Spirit to be forgiven of original sin. And once we receive him, we are reborn. In chapter 3 of the Gospel of John, Jesus is talking to the Pharisee Nicodemus. And Jesus tells him that you cannot enter the kingdom of God without being reborn of water and the Spirit. Jesus is referencing baptism when you receive his spirit. In confirmation, the bishop says to you, receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And after you respond, amen, then he says, peace be with you. He's asking the spirit to give you the peace of God in your heart, that you'll be able to know him. And when you receive his spirit, it's indwelling makes a permanent place within you. We just have to let it out through our words and our actions. You are permanently sealed for God, showing that you belong to God. And you're gifted with the conciliation of the Holy Spirit to help you, to console you, to enable communication on your behalf to Jesus, who will intercede to the Father for you. It's the same spirit that descended upon the apostles that morning when they gathered together in Jerusalem as Jesus had asked them to do. And during the feast, celebrating the giving of the law and the thanking of God for the bountiful harvest that will sustain them for another year, the Jews from all around the world not only heard the spoken, the words spoken to them in a language they understood, but they had their hearts open and received the message that was proclaimed to them. That was the Holy Spirit working within them before they even received baptism. They joyfully heard the mighty words of God and experienced them. And scripture tells us that 3,000 people were baptized that day. Now we don't put enough emphasis on the Feast of Pentecost. It's the culmination of Easter because it completes the purpose of the resurrection, which was promised by Jesus to send the Holy Spirit upon all the believers for them to share the new covenant with a new heart and a new spirit, renewing the people of God. After the apostles, the people baptized that day were the first fruits of the new covenant, the first fruits of the Pentecost. They went back to their families and their neighbors and spread the good news. Now, as I said, Pentecost is the culmination of Easter, and Easter completes the purpose of Christmas, celebrating the birth of Christ. Pentecost is that important of a feast. It is such a great celebration, and it's the pinnacle. Of the Easter event. The Pentecost event was intended for each of us all also. And as I said earlier, you received the Holy Spirit in baptism and confirmation. You've received him in confession, and those who have been anointed have received them during that sacrament. Priests and deacons received the Spirit in ordination, and you will see or soon hear the words. Send down your spirit upon these gifts. It might not be those exact words. It depends on which Eucharistic prayer Father says to me. But it's during that Eucharistic prayer. When the spirit turns God, turns that ordinary bread and wine into the body and blood of Christ. The Holy Spirit is active every day in the life of everyone who has been baptized. And that includes you. 
We just need to recognize and cooperate with him when he is trying to get our attention to allow him to help us in our hour of need or maybe someone else in their hour of need. To recognize the truth of God's presence in our lives and allow him to awaken our faith.
and graciously lead us into all truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Let us, us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For bringing your Paschal mystery to completion, you bestow the Holy Spirit today on those you made your adopted children by uniting them to your only begotten Son. The same Spirit as the Church came to birth, opened to all peoples the knowledge of God and brought together the many languages of the earth in profession of the one faith. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. <laughs> supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Partaking of the body and blood of Christ, 
who may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Edward, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially member Bertas Trozewski, for whom we pray at this Mass, and victims from war in Ukraine and Holy Land, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Cyprian, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, who may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you for your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look on our sins but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant you your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to one another a sign of Christ's peace.
season looks like for that going down a bit for the year. We shall case our classes, uh, our patient time before us, summer time, but brothers and sisters who never come for vacation from visiting the Jesus come to church. What we stay Tuesday, each Tuesday adoration, blessed sacrament on the altar, pray. Everybody who wants to come and personal talk to Jesus at 3 p.m. pray together the Bangers Shop at 6 in the evening rosary prayer to follow this benediction is ending of adoration on Tuesday evening. Tomorrow we have a donut Sunday, it's also no vacation after both messes, uh, coffee and donuts if you wish to come back again. It's the ending, exactly the ending day of Easter Sunday, but after Monday we are coming back to ordinary time in liturgical year. Yes, coming week, uh, May 23rd, this is a meeting, a meeting for people who want to be involved in the need more volunteer of uh, this International Food Festival. Meeting is 6.7 in the evening. This is uh, you when it's definitely Thursday, Thursday. And uh, also next Sunday, we celebrate a special mass for veterans. What we uh, participate in a great memorial that day. And uh, we, after mass at 11, go outside and bless new flag poles in our west uh, parking. And from the parking, because we have already these poles and everything. Uh, but if somebody wants to help my donation, we are really open and we are really thankful for this. Come, come and celebrate this uh, Mass for Veterans and after that this special honor to our veterans outside next Sunday. You can put names of your veterans loved one in the back in our church or the table is booked. You can uh, write names and we pray also for them especially this special service. And uh, uh, what I said, we have a, um, this international festival June 23rd, but before, week before, is vacation Bible school for also We welcome, especially young guests, for participating, but also helpers like who want to be volunteer to help us. We have uh, more information, more details, and we'll let them check this uh, information. Please stand up. Let us pray. May these gifts we have consumed benefit us, O Lord, that we may always be aflame with the same spirit, whom you wondrously poured out on your apostles. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And now pray our extra hail Mary for peace of the world, peace in our families, and also peace in Ukraine and Holy. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. And your mind God bless you, Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. With Mary, your mother, go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.